Hello, this is Ben Smith from North Star Planning. We're working with Goral Palmer Consulting Engineers on a transportation study in North Wyndham called North Wyndham Moves. And as part of that effort, we're reaching out to the public to hear from folks about how transportation issues have changed in the last 10 years and to see if we can learn a little bit more about what people feel are the transportation challenges coming up in the future. So what follows is about a five minute video that explains the project in a bit more detail, the study area, the issues and the focus. And if you'd like to just skip right to the questions, those follow below. And they're also available on the town's webpage at windhammain.us. Go to the planning department for more information. Or you can directly email your thoughts, questions, concerns to the planning director, Amanda Lassard, A L. L-E-S-S-A-R-D at windowmain.us. So at this point, I'll turn it over to Don Ettinger, the project manager at Gold Palmer to tell us more. Thanks. Good afternoon. My name is Don Ettinger. I'm a principal at Goral Palmer. Um, today's video is uh, kind of an introduction to a planning study that we're working with the town of Wyndham on uh, in the North Wyndham area. We call it North Wyndham Moves, Regional Mobility Local Access. Uh, today's video is kind of uh, initial stakeholder outreach and public outreach. So the study team um, includes not only uh, the consultant team, which, which is Goral Palmer, we teamed with North Star Planning and Aceto Landscaping. Um, both firms have been involved in the community uh, over the last few years, um, uh, as well as uh, our firm. So, uh, but we're partnering this project, uh, not only with the town, but also with DOT. This is uh, what they term as a PPI study. It's a planning partnership initiative. Um, where they look at uh, regional mobility or access issues um, and uh, together state and local uh, look for possible solutions. So the study area, I have my laser pointer, the study area is the North Wyndham downtown district. Um, so kind of as shown on this graphic here, um, if you look, uh, we have the Route 302 corridor, Sebago Lake is over here to the left. On the screen, we have Route 35 and 115 running across the page. Um, and the study area uh, in, basically is encompassed within the, the red area. Um, we have Manchester Drive uh, to the west. We have White's Bridge Road to the north. Uh, to the south, we have River Road down here. And um, to the east, we have the ponds. Really, the ponds are what gonna, are going to kind of formulate our, our limit of our study area. As we look at this study, um, there are a lot of local issues that we're trying to address. Um, we're aware that, that there's some safety issues within the study area. Um, there's also regional mobility, um, which we'll talk about in a little more depth. Um, local mobility, um, you'll be interested to hear that really the, one of the primary focuses of this study will be local mobility. Um, access management in and around uh, the businesses uh, of these, this, this uh, area will be important and bicycle and pedestrian accommodations. However, there, there may be other local issues, um, and that's part of today's video. There may be other local issues that property owners or business owners or the residents uh, have in this area, but uh, we haven't identified. So um, hopefully when folks watch this video, they can uh, you know, reach out to us and say, hey, there's some other things that you should be considering as you look at this study. So as we look at this study, it's also important to know that uh, there have been a lot of previous studies in North Wyndham. Uh, the list here on the left kind of showcases that. Uh, it's pretty robust, um, as, uh, as our team will, will mention in some of these videos. Um, we, we'd like to gather that information and use the best of those studies, um, but really create a study here that ends up being the study that can be implemented. So uh, the goal of this study is not to come away with recommendations for another study. <clears throat> All right, purpose and need. So uh, whenever we embark in these planning studies that are funded partly through Maine DOT, it's very important to establish a pur purpose and need. Um, and why is that important? Well, when we look at potential solutions or alternatives, we really wanna compare that to the original purpose and need to see how well does it meet um, the purpose of the study or the need of the study. So uh, in summary, uh, the purpose and need of the study is to, to improve both local and regional mobility. <clears throat> in the North Wyndham Downtown District. 
Um, the study area currently lacks local accessibility to properties within the district. And I think in the following slides, I'll kind of demonstrate that to you. Um, it suffers from vehicle operational challenges. As anybody that commutes through this area will realize uh, during the commuter time, there's heavy traffic queuing and low levels of service. But it also suffers from bicycle and pedestrian challenges as well. Facilities are either incomplete they're unsafe or just unattractive for use. So we're gonna take a holistic view of that to see how we can make improvements there. We're gonna consider transportation improvements that make it easier and safer for all modes of transportation to move within and through North Wind. In doing so, um, one thing that we've talked a lot about is we wanna work with the town to meet their local goals for economic development, improve livability and quality of place. We think those are very important factors. So in terms of the study, um, this is a, a very brief summary of our scope of work um, in terms of what the study will include. Um, so we have numerous meetings, internal kickoff meetings and client kickoff meetings, collecting data, um, you know, reaching out to our, our study team, to the public, to the town um, for input, uh, assessing existing conditions. Okay, so what, what's going on out there today? How does it operate today? What are the deficiencies as it relates to the existing conditions? And then we're going to consider future scenarios or alternatives to make improvements on those conditions. One critical aspect to, to the study will be considering local road um, connections. So uh, these are not bypass roads. These are not roads to provide um, the regional traffic um, ease on, on flowing through North Wyndham. That's not our goal with a local road connection. The local road connection is to provide benefits to the, to, to the local community on getting access to the businesses that are on that Route 302 corridor. Um, and that might be backside accesses. So if we look at it uh, on this graphic here, which is our study area, Manchester Drive is here. This is your Route 302 corridor down through here. Um, you know, is there improvements that can be made on the backside um, of that, that business development zone that provides ease, easier access for the locals to get to those businesses. So maybe they don't have to travel through the, the heavy route 302 corridor. Um, so those are some of the things that we're gonna look at and that's gonna involve a bit of master planning as to how these areas are, are adjacent to the main corridor, how those might be developed and built out. Um, so um, we're kind of excited uh, about that component of the study. Um, not to dismiss the other components, but that is an area that we're, we're gonna look at. So, when we go through that process, we'll develop some preliminary recommendations. We'll seek input from the public and from the town and, and the, the stakeholders um, on, on those, those recommendations. And ultimately we'll develop some draft and final reports. Um, and the goal of this PPI study is, is really um, to get uh, DOT engaged in supporting uh, the alternatives that are being recommended. Um, therefore, we potentially could leverage state and, and, and federal funding. Uh, here's a quick timeline of what we're looking to do over the next um, th three, four, five months. Um, so we really st started this study back in January. We're doing the stakeholder outreach at this time. Uh, we'll go into the scenario development um, in the next couple months and then recommendations late spring. So, um, so that really summarizes my presentation. I know it's very short. Um, we, we welcome future engagement as we move forward with the study. Um, but really today's focus is uh, to, to get some initial feedback um, from the stakeholders and from the public on, on this study, um, these study limits, and uh, you know, any information that you can convey, feel free to reach out to us. So thank you for your time, and we look forward to working with you on this assignment. Thanks very much for that great introduction, Don. I'd like to elaborate a little bit more on some of the studies that have taken place in the recent past. The 2007 service road study was about a new parallel road, parallel to Route 302 that would have run from about Franklin Drive near Home Depot, down through uh, about Drive-In Lane near River Road. The 2013 21st century downtown plan was uh, really focused on the existing right of way and not new roads, but it had to do with intersections, pedestrian improvements, streetscape improvements, improving traffic flow. And the 2017 comprehensive plan talked about a North Wyndham to be a proud of. And there were a lot of uh, 
recommendations and components to that broad category of creating a North Wyndham to be proud of, but uh, certainly infrastructure, transportation improvements were a major part of that. So we are going to be building on all of that previous work. We are going to be taking a fresh look at the transportation system. The last time it was really examined um, as closely was in 2013. This effort takes a bit broader view. It's looking at the whole system instead of just um, focusing on the existing uh, roads and specifically Route 302. And we'd love to hear from you at this point in the process, early in the process, talking about what might have changed since those studies came out. Have, have things gotten better? Have there been things that uh, might not have gotten better or actually gotten worse in that time? What are the new issues uh, that might not have been captured in those studies? Um, as well as thinking a little bit in the future about what, what are the emerging challenges or what are the challenges that, that we really should be considering as we develop a uh, set of recommendations for North Windham. So once again, those um, chances to weigh in, those questions are directly below uh, in a survey. They're also available on the town's planning department page at windhammain.us. You can find the planning department from there. Or you can email your thoughts or questions, concerns directly to Amanda Lassard. She's the planning director at A-L-L-E-S-S-A-R-D at windhammain.us. Thank you very much. We look forward to hearing from you.